battlefield, there is currently a grinding attritional war in which neither side has a definitive military advantage. And the day-to-day -day fighting is over hundreds of meters, currently focused largely in Donetsk, as Russia tries to capture the remainder of the oblast. The Russians are making incremental progress on Bakhmut, which is not a particularly strategic objective, but are otherwise facing considerable constraints, including personnel and ammunition shortages, dysfunction within the military's leadership, exhaustion, as well as morale challenges. And if Russia does not initiate a mandatory mobilization and identify substantial third-party ammunition supplies, it will be increasingly challenging for them to sustain even the current level of offensive operations in the coming months, and consequently, they may fully shift to holding and defending the territories they now occupy. In short, we do not foresee the Russian military recovering enough this year to make major territorial gains, but Putin most likely calculates that time works in his favor and that prolonging the war, including with potential pauses in the fighting, may be his best remaining pathway to eventually securing Russia's strategic interests in Ukraine, even if it takes years.